Hey, Daniel Lanier here with part two of the garden box. So we got the garden box all done. And from this point, what we did in part one of the video, so if you haven't seen part one, make sure you check out part one because you can see how we got to this point. And what we did in part one was we got these paver wall blocks and we built our garden box using these. We took some pallets and we just raised everything up off the ground. I kind of wanted the garden off the ground, didn't want to use the ground as my base. So I used some pallets to kind of build off of. And then these paver wall blocks, you basically cut your boards to the size you want and you put the boards in the grooves and the paver wall blocks and you can just slide them in, build your corners, build your box in the configuration that you want. Works really great. You don't have to use any new uh, nails or screws or anything. So really cool there. But this project has kind of grown. Now, I could stop right here, fill this up with dirt, and we'd be good to go with a great garden box. But as I usually do with any blank slate, I start to create and think of new ideas. So what I'm thinking is, one, we want to kind of utilize this deck that we have right here. But one pallet is longer than the other one, so we want to kind of make a consistent deck. So it's just easier to stand on and it's easier to kind of get into the garden bed. So we're actually going to build out a little deck right around here. Just using the pallets, we're going to come out a little bit and just build a little deck around there. And I thought it would be cool too if we took these boards. Because wouldn't it be cool? You know, as you're working in the garden, you're going to want to like sit your tool somewhere maybe as you're planting new things put those flower pots somewhere so i thought it'd be cool to have a nice little steady base to kind of use that as kind of a workstation as i'm working in the in the bed there you know as i'm uh picking up things and putting them you know i could put a little basket here to collect everything so i thought i'd put a little base in here so we're gonna make a little get this base all situated in here so we're gonna do that and last but not least some of the things I want to plant are things that grow on vines. So we're going to build a little trellis and we're going to have a little trellis in this area right here. So the plan is the three things in this next stage of the video are going to be go ahead and build out the deck, finish up the deck, put a platform here for a work platform across the bed and put a trellis in so pretty cool i'm really excited to get into this we're gonna um, have some fun and really design this and crazy enough we got one more part <laughs> to go after this because we'll be doing irrigation for the flower bed after this so let's go ahead and get uh cracking what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and do these boards and get this board all cut out and get that all situated so let's get at it all right, so the plan here is to take a piece of wood, run it down, and use this as a, like a work platform, if you will. And to do that, I need to run this one down. So this one's pretty simple there. I don't need to do too much. Um, but I want another board going across over here. And to do that, I'm going to do what's called a lap joint. So I'm going to join these two pieces of wood, basically, by cutting this board. I'm going to cut here in half and I'm going to cut a chunk out and do the same thing here and I'm going to put it on basically take the joints and I'm going to put them on top of each other to form the joint and that's going to be a lap joint so that'll be my platform here I'm not going to glue it down onto the blocks I want to keep everything a little uh, mobile so I can tear it down very easily or reconfigure it if I need to so we're just going to do that lap joint just to build the platform all right, so now that we got our boards cut the length, what we want to do is we're going to come in and we're going to cut basically half of this wood out. Looks like. Now you don't need to mark this, but what you are going to do is you're going to have to cut the set the depth of your saw and we're actually going to use the work saw on this and what we're going to do here is we're going to set our depth the saw 
So our saw blade, you see here, we're gonna set our saw blade so it goes right where we need it. Yeah, that's perfect, that's about right. So we're setting our saw blade to go to the depth that we need. And then we're just gonna make some straight line cuts and then we'll chisel them all out. So let's do a couple. Multiple cuts, little blocks right there. Great use of that work saw. Just quick little easy cuts, pulling that trigger down, getting the cuts we want to make this plank joint. So now we're gonna take the chisel and we're gonna knock all these out. And just gonna keep working all these guys out. All right, so we got the lap joint in place. That worked out, you know, I need a little practice in making these lap joints, but we got it in place, ready to go. I'm gonna stain these later, but let's go ahead and move on to the next phase. Now, some of you might say, Daniil, you don't need to build a deck for this. This is perfectly fine, why are you doing this? And some of you, if you have a girlfriend like mine, or a partner like mine, the finishing touches matter because she will look at this and say, why did you leave that out like that? I don't like the way that looks. It's kind of kind of ugly. So we're going to do some nice, cool finishes to finish it off. So to build the deck, what I'm going to do is cut some uh, plywood to put my deck on. And what I want to do is come out from the pallet about an inch off the pallet. So... Well, about a half inch. I'm going to come off about a half inch off the pallet. Because I'm actually going to put a board down in the front to kind of do a whole decking around. So I'm going to cut my plywood about a half inch from the pallet and get that all in place. Give us a nice platform. And then we'll think about what we're going to put on top of that. Because we're going to do some nice finishes, right? So we'll think about that. But that's what we're going to do there. So we'll get that going. So let's get at it. All right, so if you see right here, I've got the paper block kind of extending into where I want to put my deck area. So I need to cut out an insert. So I'm just going to measure right here on the plywood and see how far this paper block extends out. And then I'm going to draw some lines and then we'll go ahead and do a little cutout for this section. All right, so we had a little rain delay. Slowed us down a little bit, but we still were able to get everything done, make our cuts, have some fun making my first plank joint. So now I'm gonna show you guys how this all goes together, and then we'll kind of move on from there, kind of finish out the garden box. So we started off as just a garden box, but it's come kind of like a garden area, if you will. I love having blank slates and being able to just create, so we're having some fun creating out here and I hope you're having some fun too kind of building the garden area for yourself. So let's go ahead and get this together so you can see what it looks like. All right. So this is our platform and this is the plank cut that we made. So we cut down in here, cut away some material. So did the same thing on this board. that together so that's gonna hold that joint we're gonna glue it down and screw it down get that in there uh, we also did some notches in our deck because it's gonna be our deck our platform to kind of walk on so we have to notch out for 
the, the block, so we have to notch out a little bit for that. So let's get those in. Yeah, let's cut these notches out. that's it so we're gonna we're gonna put some stain on this guy and because this is outside you know if you're doing something inside with this plank cut you probably do a little better finish this is my first time making one it was outside so just kind of wanted to get it together a little practice needed on making those plank cuts uh, but pretty cool I loved it uh, so we're gonna put some stain on on this guy get it all stained up for the platform screw the deck down get the deck all screwed in and then I've got in the spirit of being eco-friendly, I got these recycled rubber tire mats. That's going to be, I'm going to put this on top of the decking there. So get these guys all laid out on top of the decking. It's pretty inexpensive, so I thought that was pretty cool. I was thinking about doing some composite decking boards on there. But just cost-wise, I thought this would be a better option just to go with, you know, what I'm doing for the garden area here. So... We're going to get these down as well. So let's go ahead, do some staining, screw these deck plates down, screw the plank together, and we'll be done with the box piece of it. So let's get that done. All right, so what I have here is just a little, it's like a little rubber mat. It's made out of recycled tires. So I'm just going to take these and kind of lay them out and get the layout of what this is going to look like so I can get all my pieces cut if I need to cut anything and make sure everything's going to fit the way I need it to fit before I go ahead and take some adhesive and glue them down. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so I got everything in place. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some adhesive, glue everything in place and get it in here so it's permanent now with some adhesive. So let me go ahead and do that. Now I really don't like the, the way the wood is showing through here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and paint all of this black so it kind of matches in with the, the rubber matting. And then I think we'll have a nice, cool, cohesive look with everything. So I've got this space showing through underneath the pallets where you can see the, you know, the gaps in the pallets. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut some boards real quick and put a board in here, kind of finish off the front so it looks like one solid piece. And then I'll go ahead and, and paint that black as well. All right, so here we are. We got the garden center pretty much done we still got some things to go uh got some other ideas brewing so we'll get that stuff done i'll probably put that in as a couple of bonus videos but we got everything done we got the platform built we got the deck built out we added the rubber matting we spray painted it to do a nice cool finish and i also went ahead and built the trellis so you can check that out in a bonus video after this video but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel See all the things I got going on. Get some motivation. See some other reviews, some DIY. This is Daniil Lanier. I'm out. Please get going with your own garden center. Grow your own fruits, vegetables, herbs, all the cool things you can do in a garden. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm out.